Hello and welcome to DNQ Football, where today we are running you through the semi-finals of the Pacific Games. You are watching New Caledonia versus Vanuatu. At the end, we will link you to Fiji versus the Solomon Islands. But we are starting with the Pool A versus Pool B matchup. We've spoken about Vanuatu a little bit on the channel already, and they're somewhat mm, debatably unfair against. Um, against PNG progression through the group, but we're going to start by talking about New Caledonia. Ryan, they faced Tonga and the Cook Islands. How much do you yeah. think we can read into them getting out of the group? Um, not, not very much, if I'm being honest. They were expected to win both games. I think the Cook Islands result is good because they were pretty good. Mm. I know they only played one game in Qatar last year, and actually that's quite a poor, I guess, thing to compare it to. But 8-0 is, is big, isn't it? Um, in, in that particular one. They've had two games that they were thoroughly expected to win and they've won them extremely comfortably. Now, it gives the team confidence, but it's not a test. So it's it's not really comparable to, to what they face in the in the, in the the semi-final, mate. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I think that all we can really take from it is they are the highest scoring team. Yeah, um, they've not conceded you know, the goal either. They've not conceded. They've outscored the Solomon Islands. You know, like you say, all we have to go off with the Cook Islands really is that result in in Qatar, where the Solomon Islands only beat them by by two goals to nil. Solomon Islands are a benchmarker for a lot of teams in this region, and they only beat Samoa one nil in their group. And you know, for for New Caledonia to put seven past Tonga fully easy. I mean, they never really had pressure in this group. They are so superior to the two other sides. But like you say, to score to score seven and then in a game where you only need to win one nil to then put eight past the Cook Islands. Very impressed um, with sort of, you know, their proficiency in front of goal so far. Um, but like you say, the only downside to this group from their perspective is that they've not had a real test so far, which they will do when they play against Vanuatu. Yeah. Vanuatu, of course, have had a real test. We did a preview for that match, Papua New Guinea versus Vanuatu. The quarterfinal. The quarterfinal, as we rightly yeah. called it, we ended did. up a ended up a draw. How how much do you think that the group in which Vanuatu have had that test, they've had that PNG game, how do you think that that prepares them for this semi-final? Well, I, I personally think it's better prep because they've had, they've gone through a, a, a tough moment, 1-0 down at half-time to PNG in a game that they couldn't lose. Obviously, they were fortunate with the, the two Tuvalu. We spoke about it on the last one, haven't we? The 6-0, 3-0, we? we spoke about that to death. So, um, so they were fortunate to be able to go into the last game knowing that a draw was, was all they needed from a goal difference perspective. But you're 1-0 down at half-time and you're then, you're then, you're facing an uphill struggle against a... A, a decent outfit. So to come back to get the point, I think that probably puts them in probably better stead for this match than what New Cal, you know, New Cal have, have basically have they got out of second gear yet? Probably not. Although I, I don't know if I, I, hey, I don't, I don't know how you want to go go through this, mate. If you want to talk, if you want to pick out some some players that have done well so far for both teams, or if you want, I, I, I personally don't see the challenge that they've had in that last game versus the the more straightforward experience that Newcastle have had so far. I don't I don't see that impacting the game, really. I I think Newcastle are in a good spot at the moment. Yeah, I mean it's it's difficult, isn't it? We've spoken about it when we did the tournament preview and other games that we've covered. There's that balance between having a really tough test, but also the fact that that's going to knock you out a little bit as well. Um, these games are quite short and sharp they come they, they come quickly one after another um yeah. of course you know this is probably why PNG couldn't have that rescheduled match against Tuvalu there's just not enough time in the schedule and Vanuatu they won by a big margin but knew that they couldn't afford to lose to PNG and had a really tough time of it uh, and it was a close game I expect this to be a close game but the fact that New Caledonia were able to I haven't seen the, the team sheet yet because it hasn't been fully uh, released on the Pacific Games webpage. But the fact that New Caledonia would have had a chance to rotate some players, at least, you know, I highly expect there was lots of substitutions when it was three or four nil in their game against the Cook Islands. 
and they've had the opportunity to rest a few players. And all right, it's it's only for half an hour, 45 minutes longer, but it just it gives a little bit more experience to the players on the bench and it gives a little bit of resting time to some, some of those starting players and let if any side's going into it with an awful lot of confidence. It's probably new cow, Vanuatu. They got through the group, but they didn't but they passed the test, but only just against PNG. If they'd have won I, that I, game, maybe it'd be different. I think as well, Not we don't want to just have a laser focus on this. Um, Newcastle were very good in the MSG Prime Minister's Cup and mm. they actually thrashed mm. Vanuatu 4-0. Mm. Then they beat PNG and then they lost in the final game to the Solomon Islands in the MSG Cup. We spoke about this on the channel. Um, that was back in October. So they'll take great confidence from that. They beat this team a couple of months ago 4-0. Um, and they've got a really, really good squad that's out there competing in the Pacific Games. Um, Cesar Ziola, who's playing, we've known him for a um, a long time for Nougat. He's he's been. I know this is a funny barometer, isn't it? But he's he's been on FIFA, um, yeah, playing in, yeah. in the French f- football pyramid. He's in the third tier of French football now. Um, the the attacker Louis Weyer, who's scored quite a number of goals. I think he scored in the MSG, but he's scored a few goals in this this tournament as well. Scored a couple in the last game. He's playing in um, uh, the the national uh, tier of of French football again, which is third or fourth tier. Um, and they've got a couple of other players that are coming from from the French team that are that are performing part of the squad um yeah because yeah. Ziola's playing at uh, Chauvigny now which is mm. yeah oh no sorry he's yeah they're national three so it's the fifth tier he's playing in at the moment he's he's 34 35 now but he's still playing at a good level um Titouan Richard's playing for Olympique Salé Rodia again it's in that that national but there the French football pyramid will be very very strong um and and I just think they're in a, I personally I think they're in a really really good spot. Interestingly, it feels like they've moved on the the team. So we don't have any Wakana Munes. We don't have any Emil Berunes anymore. So it feels like they've moved on from that sort of older squad into a, a bit more of a younger, exciting team. Granted, with a few more experienced players in there, Ziola being the, the prime example. He's the captain. Actually, that's really cool mm. to see, isn't it? Mm. Um, and from a and from a Vanuatu point of view, now we've already spoke about this when we were doing the PNG preview. But they don't have some of those. I'd say that the the big names. I mean, we meant, we always mention Kaltak here, don't we? Um, but he's not playing, and and that's why I, I think that just in the the space that New Calor, I, I think they are. I think they're favourites for this one, mate. And and I can see them winning the game. You? Yeah, I think if you go off the fact that New Caledonia are. In, in some of the best form that they've been in for a long, long time. Um, nothing like the side that I saw in Qatar. Yeah, it's a completely different really, team now, I think. Who were really poor. It is a completely different team. They've got a whole new influence, like you say, from from the eligibility uh, of some of the players that are in the French football pyramid. That That is just superior to the football pyramid that uh, is in the OFC region. And I think that... Whilst Vanuatu have done well to get past Papua New Guinea, this will be this will be an even bigger test for them. Um, they, they've obviously had an awful lot of attacking prowess in their game against Tuvalu, but then they came up against a good PNG side again without some of their best players. And I mm. just feel like if Vanuatu and PNG are on the same level as they sort of were at the MSG, New Cal have already proved themselves just a couple of months ago above that level. So I have to go with you and I have to think, I have to back the highest performing side, the highest scoring side in this tournament so far. And and I think this will be a close one, but I think I, I am going to back New Caledonia. We're on the same page. We're agreeing. Scoreline prediction? Um, 2 nil New Cal. You? I'm going to stick the same, same margin, but go 3-1, I think. 3-1. Okay, we shall see. We shall so. see. I think New Cal could concede their first goal of the tournament. Um, but I think I think I'm still going to back a, a New Caledonia win in this one. Yeah, they, they could go forward, Vanuatu, aren't they? Soromon scored in the last game, but Mitch Cooper's not in the squad, is he? Either they've, they've got, got yeah. a few players missing. You've got yeah. uh, Mitch Cooper, Kensi Tangis, uh, Jonathan yeah. Spokey Jack, Brian Kaltak. You know some of the some of the names I've seen. Some of those are better than others, but you know they, they have a lot of players that have come in in this tournament and have done a really good job. Um, but yeah. I think I think it's still a little bit. A little bit too far, and I think that um, under the the veteran Ziola's captaincy, I think I, I back New Caledonia to have that that right combination of 
young attacking spirit and also old heads in there. Nice. So we're backing New Caledonia to get through to the final. But what do you think? Do you think that Vanuatu will bounce back from their draw against PNG that saw them scrape through dubiously in that group and mm -hmm. get to the final? Or do you think that it will be New Caledonia that have a chance at gold? Get your comments down below. Like and subscribe if you don't already. And we will see you next time.